Well, woohoo! Pack hounds, baby! Look at them go! Not entirely sure the Anaconda was the best ship, but it certainly saw him off. Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I've been doing some more power play, and I've switched my allegiance to Lee Yong Ri. Now, he's the current CEO of Sirius Corps and is an independent. Great, fantastic, I hear you say. Why should I be aligned to him? Because he has pack hounds, which is a big missile rack full of drunk missiles that fire micro missiles off everywhere and look absolutely spectacular. Now I've been aligned to him for about four weeks, well four weeks, two days to be specific, and I've got myself down to the Lembava system, which is where he resides. I've docked at the nearest station and I'm going to pick up some materials. Now what I'm going to be doing is, is ensuring that I've got two rating three. That's when the pack and missiles are unlocked. Now as a result of this, I also get a weekly bonus after one week of 500,000 credits. Woo, I hear you say. You can make more of that mining or even trading. Exactly. But what we're actually talking about now is the Packhound Rack. And they're unlocked after four weeks. Now, what you have to do is to deliver loads of material, about 750 items of material, to his supporters or people who are in expansion or people who um, are pledging all that sort of thing. So I got myself down to the Lembava system. It wasn't too far away from where I've been doing all the community goals in the Cirrus system. Only a few jumps and you can see, you know, it's not too far away from the core. Great. So I'm going for preparation and there's quite a few systems, about 34 light years away, Tlapana, for example, that is ripe for some preparation material. So you've got to deliver 750 of these materials, I believe, all the way down to that system. So I got myself over to the independent center of Lembava and I got myself to Goldstein Port, which is the closest um, Coralist station there. And there's the system. And I'm gonna stock up on some of that material. Now, stocking up on this material is a bit of a grind, as we know. Nothing is not grindy in Elite Dangerous. I've also called in my big old Type 9. That's got 752 units of capacity for cargo. So I can, in one run, deliver all those materials and get it knocked out in one sitting. Then all I have to do is wait for the tick. So the Type 9, I got it over to the particular system that I wanted uh, in Lembava. Got it to the station. And now it's time to grind out and get those preparation materials for delivery to unlock this tier. Now, for me, this is a horrendously unnecessary grind inside this particular part of power play. I get it, right? I get it. Everything, you know, you've, nothing's going to be easy. But you've got to get 725 of these particular items, right? And once you get them, then deliver them. But you can only do them in blocks of 10. That's the problem. Now, once you do pick up 10 and put that in your cargo hold, you're given the option to fast track your next quota of franchise packages, for example. And that's gonna start costing you many at the price of 10,000 credits to expedite the process. Multiply that by 750, well, that's 7.5 million. So make sure you've bought your bank balance with you to make sure you can expedite this and get this done as quickly as possible. Everything costs money and everything costs time and power play is no exception. Once done, get yourself over to the system that requires the preparation materials. In this case, it was Taplana. Just 37 light years away from the center and Cantor Gateway. Once in and down at the station, move yourself into the contact section, into the power contact, and then you can deliver your franchise package. Fortunately, you haven't got to do this in blocks of 10. You can just use the scroll and drop your entire cargo in there. This, it's not as laborious as it was originally picking them up. So, thank goodness for that, eh? Once all 750 merits or packages or whatever it is you're delivering has been handed in, effectively then, you've just got to wait. You would have achieved tier three and have access to these fabled Packhound uh, missiles, but 
you've got to wait for the system to tick over. Now in Elite Dangerous, that's usually on a Thursday morning. That's when the server tick happens and then you'll be able to access those Packhound missiles. Now with the Packhound missiles unlocked, it's time to get your ship of choice that you can be fitting your Packhounds to and get them over and get yourself into the outfitting section. I've gone for the Anaconda, basically because, well, it's the ship I had to hand and I can have a good few um, sets of Packhounds which I can get engineered up for different versions when I, once I get to um, the engineer of choice. Into hard points, I've already cleared something out. Now, they're only class two um, modules. Into missiles, there you see Packhound, class two, buy, stick them in. I'm going to go all the way up uh, the class two modules and class three modules, leaving the class one and class four um, huge hard point for other types of more conventional missiles. Then with your ship fully kitted out with Packhounds, it's out to go and find yourself a little bit of mischief. Fortunately, there's missions you can get for that. I'll just pop into the nearest nav beacon and then... Time to unleash that pack-owned fury. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Ricardo, and thanks for watching this video on how to get packhounds and do the bit of power play. Uh, off to do some engineering now with Liz Ryder and get these puppies pimped up.